Hello and welcome. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. This is Bill, the Knee Pain Guru, and I'm catching up on some questions from over the holidays. Kind of unplugged a little bit. Got away from the knee pain industry for a minute and catching up on some questions and some comments that were written uh, while I was over Christmas and New Year's. And I got a question here from uh, Debbie, and it, it's around patella femoral syndrome. And for those that are not familiar with patella femoral syndrome, it's generally, it's a, the fem, femur is the bone in the upper leg. Uh, patella is the kneecap. So you're basically talking about pain that is located above the kneecap in and around the bottom of the femur bone. So when you walk, go upstairs, go downstairs, move, however it is, squat, you're feeling, or, or Debbie is feeling pain in this area. Now this, this is across the board for any type of knee pain that you're dealing with, a diagnosis, so p patella femoral syndrome, um, chondromalacia, uh, patella tendonitis, um, IT band syndrome, whatever the, the diagnosis is, that's just for the doctors to know where you're experiencing the pain in. So for p patella femoral syndrome, we're just dealing with it above the kneecap at the bottom of the femur bone, the big bone in the, in the upper leg. And what, what's really important is understanding, from my approach, is that when you receive that diagnosis from a doctor, that's really just to determine that nothing is broken or torn in the knee. And p patella femoral syndrome is just pain in this specific location of the knee. Once we know that, it's really straightforward to deal with and address. Now, Debbie is expressing in the email that she wrote me, she's expressing her frustration around um, that it's very hard to treat. Uh, she can't run, she can't ride a bike. Uh, can't do much more than just walk. And what ends up happening is that diagnosis that many of my clients, when I first start working with them, they get in their head that it's like they suddenly become their diagnosis and they're trying to get away from this diagnosis. When in actuality, it's just think of like the pain in the knee is just like the dashboard in your car. When the check oil light comes on or the check engine light comes on or the battery light comes on. It's just an indication of where we need to look and address it. It doesn't mean that there's really anything wrong at this point. There's nothing broken or torn. So when we're looking at nothing being broken or torn, the only thing we need to address in the, the, is the source of the pain. Now the source of any sort of knee pain is nerves in the knee being squeezed. The body is stuck in what I refer to as a pain tension loop. And when the body experiences pain, it tenses up to protect itself. It's a natural, normal response to pain. When that tension happens, there's a reduction of space in the joint. When the body tenses up from the pain, it, the reduction of space in the joint, it irritates the nerves. That irritation of the nerves squeezes on the nerves more, causing more pain. So the more pain you feel, the tighter the joint gets, the more the nerves are irritated, the more pain you feel. And the body's stuck in a pain tension loop. And the key is to create what I refer to as pain pattern interrupts on a consistent and a regular basis. And what a pain pattern interrupt looks like is the nerves in the knee that are being irritated are tiny. They're the width of an eyelash. And all we need to do is get a tiny amount of space around those nerves to get the pressure off of the nerve so there's relief experienced in the knee. When we create that little bit of space and the knee joint experiences relief, the joint relaxes. When the joint relaxes, it's comfortable. It creates more space. The more space you create, the more comfortable the joint gets, the more it relaxes. So you begin to reverse this process you begin to reverse the pain tension loop. And what this does is this sets up the condition so now the body is going to be able to heal what's going on in the knee. 
So as long as we don't get stuck in the diagnosis of what the doctor said that we're trying to get out of, and we look at the body as just uh, a system, a system of nerves controlled by the brain that send through the body to the knee, and we create those pain pattern interrupts on a consistent and regular basis, we set up the conditions so the, the body can get the pressure off of the nerves, the body can begin to heal the knee faster. And there's a few more things we need to look at. However, from a very basic standpoint, get the pressure off of the nerves, we set up the conditions in the body so the body can heal itself, and then we get out of the way because your body knows how to heal. So that is my, um, that's my, my first answer in the new year or first uh, question or issue that we're addressing in the new year. Um, if you have any questions, you can check me out um, on Facebook, um, the knee, uh, facebook.com forward slash the knee pain guru. You can also check out my website, the knee pain guru.com. I have an assessment you could take that gives you some tangible tools you could begin working with with your knee. I have a report in there. You could set up a time to speak with me. Uh, getting out of knee pain is actually really straightforward. Once we get all of the, the confusing parts out of the way, get the pressure off of the nerves, set up the body, set up the conditions so your body can heal, and then let your body do its thing. It knows how to do, it knows how to do this. It has an innate intuition and wisdom that when we stop doing the things that are preventing it from healing, it's very easy for it to do so. So have a wonderful, wonderful 2017. It's a pleasure to be in service. Uh, like I said, any, any questions, just reach out. And this is Bill Paravano, the Knee Pain Guru, signing off for today.